Construction continues on the City Creek Center. It's on pace to open in March of 2012. Lots of local companies involved in the construction of the City Creek Center, namely Big D, Oakland, and Jacobson. But today we're going to talk to the Taubman Company, a company that's in charge of making sure the retail spaces are filled and that the City Creek Center is hopping when it opens. And we're joined today by Dave Harris. He's the Vice President of Regional Management with Taubman. And Dave, thanks for joining us. Thank you. I think I, want to, I think I want to start out today by it's just uh, Taubman, I, it, within the business world, that's a name that people know, but outside, for the actual shoppers, it's it's not one that they know. But it, this is a company that is tops in the world when it comes to retail management, and it's all based on the shopper experience. So I, I guess what I want to get to first is, tell me how the City Creek Center has been designed to enhance that shopper experience. Well, first of all, the shopper experience is first and foremost about the tenants. You know, we've got to have the right tenant mix at the shopping center, and uh, we're going to have the right tenant mix at the shopping center. We're in the process of of reaching out to tenants and talking to uh, prospective tenants about coming to the shopping center, and there's been an enormous amount of interest in that. So we feel very, very um, happy about the, the leasing process at the center. We also, uh, the shopping center is anchored by Nordstrom and Macy's, which are premier tenants, the ones that are. are going to be very beneficial to the shopping center. Um, as far as the shopper experience goes, you know, we have some unique amenities at this particular shopping center um, that will create a kind of a sense of environment that will be uh, welcoming to people as they come and they shop in our, in our center. We'll have a, kind of a lush landscaping feature with uh, a creek running down the middle of the gallery of the shopping center. Um, we have several water features that will be unique and very special to this project. Um, we have um, uh, a children's play area that will be one of a kind um, that will um, really get, bring uh, bring children into the center and 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 has been very popular at our at our, at our other centers. Um, so we think that um, just the, the the general sense of ambiance in the center is going to be spectacular and it's going to be one of a kind. And we're looking forward to uh, that part of the project being special. People come to Utah. Tourists specifically come to Utah for a lot of reasons. They come here to ski. They come for the national parks. But you say that shopping is one of those things that everybody does when they come on vacation, whatever reason they may be coming here for, and some come here to shop. So do you look at the City Creek Center as a new draw for people to come to Salt Lake from around the region? Uh, absolutely. I mean, we want to do everything we can to make downtown Salt Lake a destination, and City Creek Center is part of that plan. Um, you know, any anybody that we can get to stay in Salt Lake versus somewhere else in, in uh, you know, whether it be, you know, uh, somewhere else in Utah or somewhere else in the country. We want them here. We want them to spend more time in downtown Salt Lake. Um, we've got a lot of skiers here in the wintertime. We want to get those skiers down here to Salt Lake. We want to be able to promote Salt Lake City as a destination where they can shop, dine, and have just a wonderful experience in Salt Lake itself because Salt Lake has so much to offer. So, you know, we view the tourism market here in, in Utah and in Salt Lake in general as being very robust and a great opportunity for us to really make downtown um, uh, really a great destination. Lane Beatty, the president of the Salt Lake Chamber, likes to tell the story that uh, the difference between Salt Lake and other cities is that the construction cranes are moving in our city, and they're doing that primarily over the City Creek Center. Uh, has the business community been welcoming? Has, have you found a lot of support from other businesses, even maybe some that, that will be, to a certain extent, competing businesses? We, we have heard nothing but um, support from our local business leaders. I, I will say that um, I don't think I've been in um, a center opening process where I've seen as much enthusiasm about what is happening no, not only downtown but at City Creek and uh, and uh, you know we, we've heard a lot from a lot of the key business leaders about how this really is going to be important to the revitalization and the uh, progress in downtown Salt Lake City again we got to make downtown Salt Lake City a destination and uh, we've had nothing but support from um, you know everybody we've interacted with about this project. Everyone seems very excited about it. When it's done, the City Creek Center will take up 700,000 square feet. That's the retail space. 700,000 square feet. And it's starting to take shape now. As you see it come together and it goes from drawings to actual brick and mortar, steel, 
Do you get excited about it? Does that get your blood going a little bit? Yeah, you know, I've been involved in this project for five years. And when you actually see something being built after you've been staring at plans for five years, I said it's pretty amazing. And uh, I will say that the, uh, the architectural design, the construction quality, everything that I've seen so far has just absolutely impressed um, myself and my organization. And uh, we're excited. We're excited to get this out of the ground. And we're excited to, uh, to, to make this center and the downtown a very successful place to come and shop. You have your anchor tenants announced, Macy's and Nordstrom, and others will fill in obviously as we go along. Where can people go to find out uh, more information about the project as it comes online? Well, as the project evolves, they can go to shopcitycreekcenter.com for uh, up-to-date information on, on leasing, on tenants, on uh, construction projects, and uh, proce uh, construction proce process. And uh, um, also, they can get information on um, um, the Tom and Company and, and, uh, and who we are. It'll be interesting to see as it comes together exactly who moves in to the new City Creek Center, but we're all excited for it. David Harris with the Tom and Company, thanks very much for joining us. Thank you.